every AmeriCorps member here at the Squam Lakes Association has the opportunity to get their open water scuba diving certification and even further than that gets the chance to get their New Hampshire weed control diver certification. So what that enables us to do is um, not only um, as an organization you know work on terrestrial invasive species but aquatic invasive species through the state. Um, so variable milfoil is the species of particular concern that we deal with here in the Squam Lakes region. It is not native to New Hampshire. It reproduces through fragmentation so the top pieces of it break off really really easily so you want to prevent this from breaking off and floating away so you feed the root end of it into the hose and then just kind of follow it with your hand leading the rest of the plant in. It likely hitchhikes on a vessel unintentionally um, and then ends up in a water body that it is not native to. Variable milfoil can grow up to an inch a day in you know ideal sunlight and nutrient conditions, um, that being the summer months primarily. And here on Squam, we have about a four month diving season. So we're kind of limited in the time that we are able to get out on the lake and tackle it. So so having Millie, having our dive boat, um, which is fitted with what's called a DASH system, which stands for Diver Assisted Suction Harvester, enables us to remove as much milfoil as possible in that window. So we have the dive boat out just about every single day um, of the work week, and um, that really enables us to remove dozens and dozens of gallons in a single work day. Um, it really makes it kind of the most optimal conditions for us to get out on the lake when we can throughout the year um, and get as much milfoil as possible um, so that it doesn't you know, grow to more areas in the lake or even spread to other lakes in the region as well. Millie is unique. Um, it, she is custom built for the SLA. Um, we are very fortunate to have Millie. And Millie has a lot of features that really optimize milfoil removal. So um, essentially it's equipped with a large suction hose that comes off of the boat. Um, a common misconception is that we are vacuuming the bottom of the lake, which is not at all what takes place. We want to avoid disrupting native vegetation as much as possible. So. Um, what we will do is find an infested area, survey it, get an idea of where the milfoil is. A diver will then go down um, and rather than you know taking the suction harvester just to the entire bottom, they will selectively hand pick the milfoil um, by the roots. Similar to weeding your garden, you want to get it by the roots. Um, they'll feed that root system into the suction harvester. It will then be slurped up and deposited on the deck of the boat where it is then processed, brought back to the SLA, composted and dried out where it can't do any more harm.